Hi, and welcome back to another TTR how-to video. I'm Trey Mayer with Total Tech Resource, and today I'm going to show you another brief how-to video. This how-to video is going to show you how to embed a YouTube video into a SharePoint site. Right now I have a video. I have a video that we want to embed for whatever reason it may be. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Share, and then I'm going to grab this embedded right here, this iframe, and I'm going to copy all of it. And then I want to go to a notepad and I want to paste it. And then I'm going to save this file to my desktop and we're going to call this, we'll save it to the desktop and we'll just call it demo. Save it. Exit out. Now I want to go to my SharePoint site. In my SharePoint site now you have to have permissions to be able to edit the page. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to page, we're going to go to edit. And now we're going to put this YouTube video on the right hand side here under this website. So I'm going to push enter and then give it a few seconds, wait for the web part to pull up. And then the web part I'm going to pick, I'm going to pit, pick a content editor web part under the media and content category. And I'm going to push add. The next thing I want to do, I want to edit this actual content editor. So I'm going to click right click, I'm going to click on it and go to edit web part. Now it says enter a link. So enter the text link ty or type the URL. Right now it's not saved anywhere on our server or anywhere on the share pipe. So before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to go to a library and we'll go to this shared document library. We'll just put it in here for now and I'm going to add a document. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to browse for this video that I just created. And we name that demo. And there's the text file. good save that demo and this is in a shared document library you can add this to any library or, or any list inside of your SharePoint it can be a hidden library as well and the next thing I want to do I want to go to this name and right click on demo and push copy shortcut now that I have the shortcut copied I want to go back to that page again and add in my content editor and add in the link so we'll go to edit once again insert Insert web part, media and content, content editor, and add. Once again, under the content editor, I want to edit web part. And now I'm going to push right in here. I'm going to right click in there and I'm going to push paste. And we're going to test the link. It should show you what it is. And that's correct. It's an iframe from a YouTube embedded video. So we'll exit out of that. And the next thing we want to do is we want to fix the appearance. So we want to take this Chrome type off and push none. This is a personal preference thing. It just hides the title and it's going to hide the borders around it. And I'm going to push apply. As I push apply, it'll take a few minutes and it'll allow the video to load. And I'll push OK. And now you notice that the video, after up, is embedded into the web part. So let's exit save and exit close out of this page we're going to have a YouTube video on the right hand side. Notice it does not play right away, which is a nice feature so that every time you don't come in, you know, it doesn't automatically start playing. If you notice, we'll push play. And right there, it's going to start to play. You can see it loading. I hope this helps you in in organizing and making more of your SharePoint site. If you need any additional questions, please stop by our website at ttrcorp.com. And I'm Trey with Total Tech Resource. I hope you have a good day. Thanks.